Prop your phone up on the floor there. Awesome. So on that right foot, what I want you to do is you're going to go up on both toes and then slowly down as slow as you can go. Which on that right side, what area of muscles do you feel like are working on that on that right leg in here okay the exercise we showed you you said you're not feeling it or what are you what are you getting at it's just not very hard okay and nor should it be right what the band is forcing you to do is pull that that whole foot all the way in which is what you're already doing too much of so your natural reaction then is to force all these tiny little muscles to go out and, and resist that motion of the band as you go through that calf raise wrap that underneath nope like lower 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 wrap that one side underneath your heel there you go now pin that back underneath and so now can you feel that pulling your ankle and your whole foot into that pronation kind of feeling up on both legs main mostly of your weight on that right side push through that pinky toe yep so you're resisting that band and now go down as slowly as you can go keep in mind that eccentric motion right like that little shake that you just had right there yeah. That's that range of motion that we want to clean up, and that's where that stress reaction might start. If at just that specific two degrees of range of motion, those muscles fire up really quickly, that's where we have that stress reaction take place when you're running 26 miles, right? Those are the kind of things that I know they're boring and unsexy, but those are the, the correctives that we need to start keeping in mind. To, and it's not, it's, again, it's not that they should be hard. It's the intent of why we gave that to you. It should be easy. Running and walking should be easy, but it's it's causing reactions with you right now that aren't easy, and we need to figure out why that efficiency is being lost. What I want you to do is press all the way up. As you're slowly dropping down through there, find that area where you first start to like twitch. So right there, right? So I saw that lead knee kind of shake there, and then I want you holding that. How long do you think you can hold that for? 20 seconds. Right, so now I start seeing that, right? That's where we wanna to get to that fatigue point where you're starting to shake and try to utilize other muscles. Hold that for just a little bit longer because we don't wanna train a bad habit and then drop down, perfect. With that in mind, we wanna add, let's say that was 20 seconds, we wanna add that time up to about two minutes time under tension. Same kind of philosophy here where we are uh, thinking more endurance of these muscles, they need to be smarter, not necessarily stronger kind of thing. So add that time up to two minutes. So if it's 20 seconds, keep doing it six times. Prefer to do this before activity. So go through a couple of these before a run or even before a walk so that your, your brain and your body is kind of prepped for that more extension feeling out of that right glute versus not knowing what to do and then fatiguing in a, in a compromised state. Right, like three to five, three to five miles. And I think you agree, like that's not ideal. That's slow as shit. Right. What I'm getting at is you're young, healthy, athletic. You have cardiovascular endurance to beat the band from biking and swimming and everything else. How come it's so hard physically for you to run a mile? I can run faster, so I'm just keep my heart rate down. Right. Which... And that's because, so it's lacking efficiency. You're using too much energy to not produce enough results is what it boils yeah. down to. Does that make sense? Yeah. Right now, if we just think with the foot and that's crashing in, then you're using muscles to concentrically contract, which is gonna take up a lot of energy, raise your heart rate, everything else, to come up and over that hump. Basically, you're hitting a wall, blocking that momentum, picking yourself up, and then taking another step. Right, rather than a graceful, fluent forward fall, which is what running should be. Now we wanna think about how we can make that more efficient. It starts from the ground up with the foot and then getting that right hip especially to extend more and be, again, smarter, not necessarily stronger with that extension. Okay. Yeah.